you marry him for his looks or his seafood? Tell me the truth. Who's there? Well, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we like to eat this. Bro, let's get a couple. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. My goodness. That's my first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She was born in the outskirts of Seoul to an American GI and a young Korean woman. He was born in Alsace, France, land of pork and cabbage. She was put up for adoption at three and then lovingly raised in Virginia by her new family. He was 16 when he began his apprenticeship. She found her birth mother when she was 19. He came to America and became one of the world's greatest chefs. They fell in love and married over a decade ago. Now, Jean Georges and Marja return to her birthplace to chronicle the tastes and traditions of Korea. These are the Kimchi Chronicles. There's an old expression that goes, give me a fish and I live for a day. Teach me to fish and I live for a lifetime. It's not surprising that Koreans have taken the expression to heart as their peninsula is surrounded on three sides by plentiful fishing waters. Historically, coastal Koreans feasted on a wide array of fresh fish, while inland populations were sustained with dried fish of all sizes. Nowadays, Koreans still love their dried fish but with the advent of refrigeration, fresh fish is to be had inland as well. The coastal city of Sokcho, in the northeastern corner of South Korea, just 38 miles from the North Korean border, is both a fishing port and a beach town. Daepo Port is considered small in comparison to some of the other commercial ports, but early in the morning it's wall-to-wall -wall fish. Boats arrive one after another, with their catch still very much alive and kicking. The prospective buyers come right on board. They wear curiously numbered baseball caps during the lightning fast auctions that take place right then and there. Then it's all about moving the fish from one holding pen to another as quickly as possible. Runners literally sprint from the boats to the tanks of wholesalers and restaurants. By midday, the port turns into a relaxed hangout. What happens when a commercial port meets the beach crowd? Just about everybody dines al fresco whether they're nibbling on street food or opting for a full-on seafood dinner. You can get stuffed on North Korean-style squid, which itself gets stuffed, steamed, sliced, and pan-fried until crisp. If you prefer your squid dry, which happens to be a great beer snack, Sokcho is known for it. And there's some of the best fried shrimp I've ever had. Not greasy, remarkably crunchy, and perfectly cooked on the inside. It's hard to eat better. That's what I thought until my Korean food guru, Diana Kang, brought me to Pyeolmikui restaurant, which literally translates to delicacy grilling. Like most Korean restaurants, it's a family business. 35 years ago, North Korean-born Hae Young Cho opened the restaurant that her son, Kang Young Lee, and his wife, Jung Hee Kim, now run. Our meal turned out to be a shellfish extravaganza. Clams, scallops, shrimp, and more all of which we grilled on our table while the kitchen simmered slices of a humongous rudder clam. Whoa, that's wow. a big... Ah, ah, ah. On a boat, it's called the rudder? It looks like, like the, the rudder. rudder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this takes a long time to cook, so they're going to cook it in the kitchen and then bring it out oh, okay. for us. Yeah. 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 Two different kinds of uh, clams. Right. This one, they call it kaijuge. Literally, knife it means clam. knife clam. But oh. then the color of these clams have uh, pink, so yeah. they're called the uh, red clams. Right? Red clams. Mm -hmm. As you can see, these scallops. are the scallops. Do we get to cook our own with a little assistance? Yes. Oh. You can't wow. get any fresher than this, no, really. No, it's like Oh my fresh gosh. Scallops, you can actually even eat it raw. And it's ready to eat. Okay. Anytime. Oh, oh. hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to eat you. The first water that comes out yeah. is seawater. So it's a little oh, bit salty. So you have okay. to drain that. And then the second part is the scallop sauce or the clam sauce. Right. So that's why it it's delicious. tastier at that time. But here the, the scallops are really sweet when they're cooked this way. Yeah. I'm, I'm really chew. looking forward to her trying this because it looks very chewy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Really good. 
really good. It's chewy and it tastes somewhat like abalone. A little oh. bit. Mm -hmm. From the seafood market. Yeah, no more my Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming here. Yeah, yeah. everything is so delicious. Yeah, yeah it's really, really, really. Did you marry him for his looks or his seafood? Tell me the truth. <laughs> Who's them? Oh, both. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Good. All right, so when do you know this is done? It's done now. Oh, yeah? Because the noodles are clear and oh, the clams okay. are cooked. Lord have mercy. Mmm. Really, really tender. It's between a clam and, and calamari, actually, but not really chewy. So how long does it take for the shrimp to cook? Mm. A few minutes. So do you want to try one shrimp? Sure. Ooh. Mm. Oh my god. Wow, look at, look at the... Ooh, uh, it's like a three-course meal. Wow, look at this. And they already steamed it and cut it. Uh -huh. Very, very delicious. Very, I know. Very delicious. It's good to see a man that likes his own products. <laughs> yes. yeah. You take the top. Oh, no, no, no. See, so he's got to eat more. <laughs> we'll figure <laughs> it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, you really eat this part, the okay. first part. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Mm. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. This is the Red crabs. This is caught here in Korea. Okay. And although it's not as fleshy as the Alaskan king crabs, right. the, the flesh is very tender and sweeter. He said the trick is in okay. how long you cook mm -hmm. it. Because if you cook it too long, then it becomes too dry. If right. you don't cook yes. it long, long enough, enough. Yeah. So it's almost like cooking rice. Okay. You have to time it perfectly. And the shell is really thin. Right. Oh, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Yeah. Oh, She's my mother in the room. Oh. <laughs> 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. <laughs> 네, 아유, 안녕하세요. 어머니가 노스 코리아거든요. 네. 그래서 이 자리. 고향이 어디? 그러니까 이 장전. 이북 코리아. 네. She's uh, originally from North Korea, and when she got married. She came to this part of the city. Her family still lives north side of oh. the Korea, right. and she has not been able to see them. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. A familiar tale. For most families with North Korean roots, it's an ongoing and poignant battle of close proximity to loved ones with little to no chance of reuniting. It's always about generations. Yes, yes. and it's second generation and third generation that are continuing the tradition. Absolutely. That's a nice breakfast, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing on the bone. In Korea, like just about everywhere, the best quality fish always goes to the highest bidder. And you can find them at Noryangjin, Seoul's remarkable fish market. Considered one of the world's top fish markets, it's an impressive 700,000 square feet worth of live swimming seafood. The wholesale auction begins at 1 in the morning, just when I'm heading home after a night out in Seoul. Who in their right mind gets up that early to hang out with fish? My husband, of course, and his never-say-no buddy Magnus. It's a live bucket, huh? Uh, live. At 3 a.m., the stalls begin selling directly to buyers, including small fish markets, restaurants, the public, and even tourists. Noryangjin is in fact one of Seoul's most visited tourist destinations. Sort of like a giant aquarium showing off the wide underworld of the sea. Except here, the fish get sold and eaten. Now what is that? The shape is very uh, interesting. <laughs> They're a little bit like a sea cucumber, but you eat it raw. Raw? Yes. That's something you would eat, no? Yeah, right. <laughs> Small octopus. Wow. Pick one up so I'll take a picture of it. So they play dead and then they stop moving again. <laughs> it's like a punch. Steam those? Yes, yeah, steam. steam. Carry some sashimi over here. It's still, a, look, it's still alive. Still moving. Wow, wow. Look at ah. that. Very cool. So fresh, huh? My husband always gets excited in food markets. Like me when shoes are on sale. And it was a large, flat fish whose name translates to bastard flounder that caught his attention. JG was ready to do some buying. It's about $30 per kilo. We buy it, we buy it. Here at Noryangjin, when you buy a fish to eat raw, not only do they clean, fillet, and portion it for you, but they also wrap up all the bones and trimmings. Yeah. Wow. You want to jump for yourself? I said we picked a good one. My goodness, Whoa. look at that. Ooh. That's a nice breakfast, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love the way they go around. Yeah. 
Ja, om det finns så är det till det. Så du tekniken? Ja, det är det. Det är nothing on the bone. The white part of the skin, on the dark part, so it tastes different. So they do different things with different parts of the fish, huh? What kind of lani go? They actually serve the flesh raw, and then the head and the bones and the roe and everything. They're going to cut it up and put it into a soup. What about the fin? The fin is we can we like to have it as raw fish as well. Because that's actually the more chewy part, and it has a little more fat content than the regular flesh part. Chill guys in the long run, straight down, huh? That's the way the uh, Korean. We like to have our fish to be very chewy. But when you cut it this way. So yeah, you cut it that way to uh, create we the. We like more, the tenderness. We like the uh, fish to be fruit. very chewy. Yeah. Should we try one of the, of the crab too or no? We should get Korean crab. Korean crab. The big Come ones. On like yeah, the big ones. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Don't have what it looks like a barnacle, no? Yes. Yeah. Look Ooh. at that. I never saw it before. We like to eat this raw. raw? With with this line. Let's get a couple. Thank you. Got, you got sashimi, fish soup. So while we go to the restaurant and we are eating sashimi, they'll cook the soup with the soup for us. They make it, they're gonna make it spicy? Yes, yeah, very spicy. Ooh, I like it. Up in the kitchen of the Emperor Raw Fish Restaurant, the head and scraps from the flounder were transformed into a rich, spicy seafood soup, sort of like a bouillabaisse, made with gochujang the ubiquitous red pepper paste that is so distinctly Korean. While the soup was cooking, J.G. Magnus and Diana started off with the just-sliced flounder made into sam, lettuce leaf wraps that are eaten like tacos. And then, eat it. then came a plate straight out of Fear Factor, slices of raw, unadorned sea squirt, oh, that's very tender. followed by baby squid, small enough to serve guts and all. It's just been steamed. Mm. Wow, it's delicious. Oh, tender. Next, the fortifying fish soup, breakfast of champions. We call it soup guts. Delicious. And lastly, a plate of steamed crabs. Wow, here comes the crab. In Korean families, tradition has it that only the male child was served the prized crab roe, wow. which gets mixed with rice and then put back into the shell. Beautiful. The best thing about coming to the fish market at 5 o'clock in the morning is to have this wonderful breakfast, then you can go back to sleep. I'm ready. <laughs> After this. You had some fun with Diana in the uh, fish market in Korea. But that trip was way too early in the morning for me. <laughs> I know. It was uh, sensational. I mean, really, though, everything is moving. We bought some uh, live squid. Right. Korean people, they don't buy any fish if it's not moving That's alive. True. That's They're going true. home with everything. Is All the bags are shaking. That's why I'm going to leave the whole fish to you, and I'll <laughs> deal with the filet. All right. So I'm going to make a batter um, that I will use both for fish and for onion rings. Do you think you could make me a little yeah, I was tartar sauce a, or something? I have a little mayonnaise here. I'm going to do, uh, do a kimchi tartar sauce. Very innovative. Yeah. I love it. So I'm doing all my dry ingredients. I have a cup of uh, regular flour, half a cup of rice flour. Why are you using uh, both flour? After I've tried numerous recipes, I just found adding a little rice flour gives it a little extra crispiness. Yes, yeah. Two teaspoons of salt, sesame seeds, red pepper powder. Just like to give my batter a little kick. Fish sauce. Fish sauce. And then we add some egg. Could you mix that up for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, and then I'm doing a beer batter, so I'm gonna use my favorite beer. Go ahead, do you wanna throw that in there? Perfecto. We'll add that. The beer really makes it a light Yeah, it does, and it, it does something with the batter. It just gives it uh, extra depth, I think. Mix that up until you don't have too many lumps. Oh. Can I try this one? Nice. Just start oh, by submerging some, uh, these. Onion rings first? Yep. Onion rings, I think. Who doesn't like onion rings? Beautiful. I love this recipe. The beer is the best part. We're just going to crisp that up. Just nice point. and brown. Well, these onion rings take about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. Oh wow, I love this. Yeah, and don't steal my recipe now. And do you serve this with a fish? Or is it like yeah, fish? it's like uh, fish and chips, but just fish and, uh, onion. Fish and onion rings. We're gonna work on the tartar sauce. I put some chopped uh, kimchi in the mayonnaise, chopped scallion. Nice. Spice it up with the uh, kimchi juice. Kimchi juice. Are they? The whole thing. No, it's just regular mayonnaise from the jar. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no jar. Homemade mayonnaise is always better. Look at this, Bella. Kimchi tartar. That's pretty. Yeah. 
pretty good. Okay, babe, can you grab the fish? I think I'm gonna go ahead and start that one. You a snap one? Nice. Yeah. So good at that. Good. We got a nice sizzle. Beautiful. Nice. Babe, how long does fish usually take? I would say this one is ready. Fish and chips going style. I love it. And I'm gonna put in another batch. And then what are you gonna do? Mine mm -hmm. is the sea bass, black okay. sea bass. Okay. So I have my sea bass. I'm gonna do a little slashing. Why are you uh, slicing that fish? For the marinade. I'm gonna put some tenjang. That's pretty mm -hmm. strong, no? The... Tenjang's a little bit stronger and coarser than uh, miso, which is the Japanese version of soybean paste. So. I like it better. There's more uh, texture to it. Texture. Then, of course, uh, makoli. A little soy. Sesame oil. Great. I'm gonna add some uh, chopped shallots. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop some ginger. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that uh, marinade on top of the fish. That looks really good. Mm. Toss it around. Let it absorb uh, all this. Great flavor. I would say 20 minutes. When I'm gonna fire up the grill and, uh, and grill it. Okay. I can't wait to try it. Well, this is some uh, nice fire here. It's gonna take about 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes on each side, five minutes resting time. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Mm, that looks good. I really like that soy bean paste. Well, I think the marinade with a shallot. Ginger. Yeah, it's a really good sauce. Oh, is it ready yet? No. Not yet. Are you doing the flip? It smells great. It's almost ready. I just want to show you it's hot inside. Is this fish going to take? Uh, I just going to check it out. Oh, that's how you check the end. Yeah. Hang on. Only if it's uh, warm at the bone. Yeah. We're good. One for you, one for me. His and hers there fish. That's good. Ooh, so much, I yeah. see a cheek. Wow. That sauce. There we go. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. My stuff's ready inside. You did it? Mm-hmm. Okay, baby. babe. <laughs> so I'm coming out to you. Fantastic. That oh, you have so chopsticks, too. Beautiful. We have your kimchi relish. Wow. It's really hot. Crispy. Mm-hmm. Wow. This is a fish Chloe would love. Delicious. Wait till you try the onion rings. Wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. They're gonna steal that uh, rice and beer, rice flour and beer butter for me. Okay. All right, so this is the best part, right? The cheek? Yep. I like the paste, huh? Really, that's a uh, mm. soybean paste. Is, uh... It does it in that macaroni. Really good flavor. Busan is Korea's second largest city. It's located on the southeast corner of the peninsula and is the world's fifth biggest port. Cutting edge commercial shipping operations share the same clean waters that have made Busan's Jagalchi fish market famous, particularly for its raw and grilled fish. Diane and I met my friend, the sexy actress Heather Graham at Jagalchi, where you can dine in restaurants scattered throughout the market. At Gum Jung Ho restaurant, abiding by the Korean devotion to freshness, fish are slaughtered only when ordered and grilled directly at the table. So ladies, this is uh, Jagalchi Market. We're here at a very uh, old and famous uh, grilled fish restaurant. Mm. Oh. 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 They have really fresh snapper. So should we order snapper Absolutely. for grilling? Yeah. She actually oh, said that um, Tomi is also good for your skin to mm. you know, preserve. We'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, restaurant is very famous in this area for mm -hmm. grilling the whole fish. My mm -hmm. husband always says that it's best to grill any meat on the bone. Yeah, it just does something with the meat, there's more flavor, it's good. <laughs> and actually, we like to grill as a whole fish rather than cut it up because we think that bone is really the source of nutrients. Yeah, right. it's uh, that makes sense. more tasty as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to eat this thing. Here's the uh, boiled beans and sweet potato. And just mm. yeah. But this bean sprout soup looks like really amazing. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. What's the base today. of the stock? Dried, Dried anchovy. Wow. And a little bit of sea salt. And also some kelp. Mm -hmm. As innocent as it looks, it is like a cure-all for hangover. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So this is the uh, red snapper. Mm -hmm. like, and they'll wow. grill it, you know. Beautiful. I like the chunky salt. That's cool. Yes. It looks really fresh. But fresh is always better. Mm -hmm. Actually, with any kind of fish, to tell that it's fresh, is you can tell the eyes uh -huh. very clear. And when you look at the gill, it should be really nice and red and pink. Oh, yeah. And then when you touch the flesh, it should be nice and firm. This is a gorgeous fish. Mm -hmm. Do you usually prefer the tail part or the uh, head part or the body part? Oh, tail I love the tail. <laughs> you like the tail? Yeah. Fish connoisseurs always would say the head is the best part because of the Because of the cheek really? and everything. Yes. The meat's attached to the bones, tastes much better. I never thought wow. of it like that, but that's interesting. And that's why they have fish heads soon. Mm -hmm. like, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like With bare hands. Ooh. All right, ladies, you know what that means. When they start flipping the fish, that's when we have to start drinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yay. You know, Korean soju is always the, the best drink. The preferred drink. Yay, you remember? You always have to hold it with oh, your yes. hands, right? Okay. Okay. And then, okay. And then you would pour for me. And if so, you pour for yourself, it's very bad, right? You're a lonely soul. <laughs> you're a lonely soul. <laughs> to our health and Good more food. food discoveries. Yeah. Okay. The snapper cooked for about another five minutes on the second side. Meanwhile, we felt our soju kicking in. Okay, so how do we eat the fish? Do you mm -hmm. take a little piece mm -hmm. of fish, okay. dip it in the soy sauce, or okay. try it without it first? Mm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. And this sauce, this mm -hmm. is samjang, you just dip these That's raw really vegetables good. in right. there. Mm. That's good, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Cheese, Cheese right? you to would prefer the tail and the body, I think I can yes. go for the cheek. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of meat here too. Oh, I see. It's really a little more tastier mm. than I the think body that's part. Tasty mm. too. The whole thing's tasty. Mm -hmm. So I wanna try to make this stuff. This is super easy to do. The, mm -hmm. the only thing is I don't it's really hard to get fish this fresh. Mm -hmm. You never turn mm -hmm. the fish over. Mm -hmm. No? Why? Oh you just dig oh mm -hmm. I see. So what you, you do is you take Okay, I'm a professional at this yes. one. Please. You are? Well, my and then you would to. eat the bottom part. Mm. Yeah. Because they always say that when you flip the fish over, mm. it falls not, apart. If, not only does it fall apart, mm. but it's just sort of bad luck. It's a technique in terms of eating right, the fish and right. not wasting a right, bunch of meat right. that's mm. stuck on the, the grill. But you know what? There's nothing like cooking over an open mm. fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the skin's good. Actually, now it tastes much better. Because oh, it does? The skin is really nice try and skin. crispy. Mm. Okay, I'll try it again. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. That's well, another A plus. You. You're the authority. You. She says she says it's an honor that you came to visit her store. So anyway, that's sweet. So. A final shot of soju was in order. The freshest fish, simply prepared, eaten right in the market. There's truly no better recipe for eating well. One final thought. This is fried shrimp with batter. When I fall for something, I fall hard. Back in Sokcho, even though we were supposed to be done shooting for the day, I had to get more of those addictive fried shrimp, along with some ice cold beer. Ooh, it's the way I like to end a long day. June thought I bought too much, but I think I bought just enough. Come there! Yeah.